all right you saltaholics welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you've been with us before we certainly appreciate it if you were with us on the first part of this walk you know we are about to explore down this path right here and i already see a beauty right here ahead of us that i'm going to pick up with you guys oliver's venturing that way he sees something to see and i told you there was one over here so i'm going to go this direction first and there's so much down here but i can see those little spikes in the shadows because like i was saying in the earlier video the sun is over this direction ready for this afternoon setting but look at this little gorgeous beauty here that i saw the spikes sticking up of wowie wowie what a cutie And before I leave this section, let me glance around, make sure I don't see anything else large hollering at me. I don't want to leave this spot too far either because once Aunt I'll remove the wagon, I don't want to miss what I was saying I saw up here. Ooh, two things. This is not something I saw, but I see it now. Look at here. Who knows what that is? Trying to get it out carefully because you see those little spines will come off. A couple of them did come off. And that is a sea urchin. Awesome. That moon snail there is broken. Who sees the beauty in the screen there? I know there's a lot of shells. Can you see it? Did you see it? Fun, fun. Love finding these beauties. And it is a gorgeous day here in South Carolina today. Thank the Lord for it. Good day to get out and do some walking, exercise, and enjoy this pretty beach day. Got another piece of sea pork. We saw some of that sea pork in the previous part of this walk. And another whelk. Pretty, pretty. And I gotta catch up with the wagon to be able to clear my hands. So I can pick up more stuff with you guys. There's just so much to see. Oliver's meandering all around in front of me too. Looking to see what he can find. Found a few whelks. And this little sea urchin definitely goes in the fragiles. Let's see how much fiberglass structure Ooh. or something stuff Look at this little beauty. Oh, and another sea urchin there. Let's grab this one first though. A little lightning wilt. A little dark moon snail, but it was broken. So this is the second sea urchin in just a few steps, really. So there's probably a lot more even up here that we're missing. And it does have some grass and all embedded in it. I can't really get it out one-handed, but I will work on that. And look at this little crab back here. Oh, it's actually almost a whole little crab. It's got its little claws still. How many of you um, beachcombers collect things like that? The little crab backs. I do I'm when they're whole. A ton of treasure. Oh, I see a couple. I see one sea urchin there. I see another sea urchin there. A sand and a, dollar. And a sand dollar, which is also in the sea Look urchin family. And wow, a, check out that black whelk out there also. And another sea urchin there. And I do see that black whelk. Are you going to pick up all those and let's go pick up the whelk? Or you want to? All right, you go get the whelk and I'll gather up these sea urchins. 
Ooh, okay. I see it. So we got one. Two. Three. I want you to do that video to get this moon snail stuff. See it? Oh, that's a big one too. How do we walk over it? And oh, it? oh, it is busted. busted up on the back. But man, that one was pretty from the front too. All right, so let me put my. Oh, I didn't even pick up the sand dollar. Don't step on it. Would y'all like like that? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Pretty, pretty. That's some trash. And this other little whelk he was talking about here. Beat it up on one of those little knob uh, mud clumps. And this black whelk he was talking about. Wow, look how black it is. But wonk, wonk. Man. What a bummer. Cause look at its size compared to those little ones there. Wow. I don't want to sit here and cry about it. Let's keep on looking. Oh, and I see another sea urchin that I missed. Wow, there are a lot of sea urchins out here today. I said we were probably walking over a bunch of them and look who there another so a lot of people will take these and kind of clean them off so you'll just have this little bill i actually like to see the spines so when the spines are on them like this i leave the spines on them typically and for the ones that have seen the videos previously where we show parts of our shell collection you know i i like to leave a lot of the stuff natural every once in a while i do something a little different to it but i do like things just natural I'm kind of a natural girl myself, so I just leave them to their natural selves as well. Another. I had to check that out. It, it is broken, but look how wide that angel wing is. Today's going to be sea urchin day, it looks like. I've got a whole little cluster of them there. In my little fragile compartment. And I saw something else. Okay, right here, yeah. This little mermaid bracelet. That's what I call it anyway. This is just a little short piece of it, but it's actually the casing of, of a worm that attaches these little coquina to itself. So as it's living and around the edge of the ocean floor, it attaches those little coquina shells to itself as camouflage. And look at this. He is hard, but this is a little sea cucumber that has expired, unfortunately. And how many of you saw this in the edge of the screen? So it is empty. But this is a moon snail egg casing. So the moon snail itself would have been here in the center. And it releases this little casing that I know it's really hard to tell. But it's actually just little grains of sand. And I'm going to try to hold it up where you can see that it's just one sand layer thick. You can see it right in between my fingers right there. It's just one sand layer thick. And it uses its mucus and... It's, you know, other little slimy stuff and basically forms this little, I mean, it, it, it is fragile, but it's, you know, it's pretty hardy too. I could shake it all around without it like falling apart in my hands. But once this is formed, it lays its eggs underneath this. And this is called the egg collar, the shark eye, I mean the moon snail egg collar. So all the little eggs will be attached, hanging from that. So all those are gone off of it. So hopefully they're out there living their best life at sea. All the little moon snail babies that came off of that one. And we found so much there in such a short time, I'm walking a little slower so I can see, because I feel like we're probably missing a lot. Of course, has any 
beachgoer knows, especially when you have a lot of beach to explore like this, that we are um, probably missing quite a bit. There's no way we can pick up all of these things. And one of the things, look at this little piece of driftwood. I can see my grandson saying right now that looks like a little gun. Hmm. Interesting. And I see a whelk over in that direction. Oh, and right here at my feet before I move any further. Get that situated so it doesn't get broken. Definitely don't want it broken. It's a little sea urchin, and I was just talking about how sometimes you can clean that little ball part off of the sea urchin. Woo! Surprised it didn't break just then when I dropped it. Another one. down in this little rack line this little beauty it's worn but look at those blues pretty pretty so gorgeous out here today Sometimes you just need a beach day. So it's good for your soul to have a beach day sometimes. And I see as I'm glancing around this way, one stuck up here in the marsh. Oh, I mean in the marsh grass. Ooh, two. A twofer. Look at that one. It's got bigger oysters on it than it is. So that's a little black whelk in there. Encased in a bunch of oysters. My, my. And I try to walk a little slower when I bring you guys along with us just because I know it is um, a little dizzying sometimes when we're walking really fast on the beach. But we try to cover a lot of ground so we can show you and find as much stuff as we can. So I do try to walk as slow as I can, but of course I can't walk but so slow. So just like I mentioned in the previous video, hit that little button to slow us down. It's in the same line when you're watching TV, YouTube on TV. It um, is in the same line, the airplane going by, as the like button. You scroll all the way over to the little dots where you can click for more information, and speed is one of the options. And you can slow us down when we're walking a little too fast. Look at that dark cockle with all the little pits in it. So it's probably been attacked by a boring sponge, I would assume. Did y'all see that in the corner? I see just up ahead another beauty. It's bald on top. All the spikes are washed away. But it's completely, completely cleaned out by nature. The living part of the animal is gone. The inter internal part, I should say. And again, that guys, there's a huge rack line right here above me. And there's several through right here below me. But 
we're just gonna stick with this one for now see what all we can find look at there that one's a little broken look at the rust colors on that black And Oliver's gotten way up ahead of us. Of course, he's probably not um, being slowed down by running his mouth and showing all you guys stuff. So, we do love you. We wouldn't bring you along if we didn't love you. So, this is a part of the sea urchin that is broken. So, once all those little spines are cleaned off, the little bell shape would look just like that. this more of that what I call the mermaid's bracelet the prickly cockle see the, the cockle here with all these little prickly little spikes down the back Here is just a little Florida cockle. It's small, but they do get really big, just like the giant Atlantic cockles. Is that a sea nut or what they call a sea bean? Jingles. Cockles. Look at that big black sailor's ear oh see how fragile they are just trying to clean the dirt out of it I broke it sand dollar I see something standing up right there and I'm gonna have to go investigate because that looks like it is a whelk shell. So maybe Oliver stood that up for us. I don't know. It is a whelk, but it is broken. I'm not sure if he stood this up or not. It's not even wet, really, so, except for, yeah. He or somebody pulled it out of the mud, because I can see where it's muddy on this side. But that's probably why I left it there, too, because it is broken. They probably pulled it out of one of those tide pools, which is one of the reasons why we like to wear our boots even sometimes in the time of the year where it's not too cold to get your feet wet, um, we like to wear boots or shoes so that way we can walk around and that's Partina grass in the mud because we do find stuff in there sometimes. Pretty little cockle. More of that sea pork. guys don't forget if you like walking along the beach with us make sure you hit that like button if you'd like to come along for all of our adventures hit the subscribe button so that way it lets youtube know that you want to see content like this you watch enough of it even without liking and subscribing the internet algorithms will show you stuff a little bit even regardless of whether you do that or not so you may have found us or you may find other channels similar to ours just in that same manner it's because if you watch things like this and especially if you stay on them for a length of time then the internet algorithms learn that this is the kind of stuff that you're interested in and they will continue to show you this kind of stuff the black angel wing but it is broken up 
I've had lots of friends, you know, or people that watch our channel that really weren't even interested in shelling or whatever, maybe before, that has started watching our kind of stuff, say, look, these other channels are now showing up of people that shell. Did you know that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, they're, they're out there. It's just the fact that the internet's showing them to you because you're watching that pair of just a senior. And a little starfish. And you can see where it had was broken and had started repairing its legs. And it's washed back up on the beach, unfortunately, now. Oh, look at those beauties, too. A little white whelk. And a pretty angel wing. First really nice angel wing today. In there with the sand dollars. Little portion of the sea urchin. Another little whelk. So much stuff to see. So much stuff to see. Not doing very good at getting down the beach quickly. It's not happening. I'm gonna have to go faster. I'm gonna run out of time. Because it is the afternoon. This is just the only time that we could get out here. So we use our time as wisely as we can. Try to get out as much as we can when we have the opportunity. Outside of work and family things going on and all that. So just is what it is. We get here when we get the chance. We take you guys along with us when we get the chance. Oh, look at that little whelk. All the holes in it. Little moon snail. use the water that's in these other shells to rinse it off a little bit and another there pretty pretty two moon snails the shark eyes Lots of cockles, lots of oysters. Like I said, those are pretty common to our area. Arcs, blue mussels. These gorgeous angel wings sometimes are fairly common. See, I just can't go fast because look at all the stuff that I'm finding. Oliver's probably got his hands full trying to wait on me to get there. And I'm trying. But I don't want to miss out with you guys showing you all these pretty things. Did y'all want to miss those? Sea urchin and that angel wing? No. I know you guys don't want to miss those either. Big bundle of coral. For you guys that live near beaches or visit beaches that do have an area where it is good to collect shells, do you tend to collect a lot or you do, do you just pick up a couple? I'm always interested to know just because of the fact that I guess I am, and y'all have heard me say it before for the ones who come along regularly, I'm a shell hoarder. My name is Stephanie and I am a shell hoarder. Sorry, not sorry. I love to look at all my shells. Or just to show off our shells when others come to visit and, you know, 
just that they're just fun. If I'm having a day that doesn't seem so great, a little depressed, or my anxiety's up, I can go out and I call it water in my shells. I can take the water hose and kind of sprinkle across some of the ones in the yard. It makes them all shiny and brings out their true colors. And man, they're just beautiful to see. So it just kind of lifts your spirits. We've had a lot going on lately, so I have definitely enjoyed having something in the world that is beautiful around me sometimes just to lift your spirits occasionally. So unique. I mean, all the oysters build up inside that. Just kind of makes you think about the world outside of yourself a little bit, I guess. But it also draws you away from a lot of the craziness that's going on in like the real world. I try to stay away from that kind of drama and stuff as much as possible. So spending the day out on the beach or fishing or shrimping or crabbing just gives us a little peace of mind. It's almost a little spiritual experience a lot of times to, to spend time out on the water. How many of you guys feel that way? I feel a little closer to God when I spend time out on the water and especially, you know, checking out all of his amazing creatures like along this beach. Because it's kind of sad to think about, of course, but along this beach, when we see all these shells, all these were at one point, just like we are, as in the fact that they were living animals, had a life of their own, and now, this is their life. So for us to be able to take some of them home and treasure them and just have beautiful moments with them or, you know, just have a, a smile on our face because of them, what more can we ask for? As we all leave this earth one day, if someone can look at, you know, back at you and the memories or your pictures or your memories and things like that that you have made, if you can bring a smile to their face, what else would you ask for in life? So that's as much as I can think of. I mean, just a beautiful way to be. So, oh, I have a handful of treasure to you guys, and I just shared them on our Facebook group page. And oh, so it's not gonna show what you. What I said is my hands are full, and my wife is lost somewhere in shell heaven. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> So this is the end of this video. She has kept you guys so entertained, I'm sure. And I have some treasures in my hand. They're pretty nice treasures. I want you guys to come along on the next part of this video. And give us that like, give us that subscribe. Keep us coming back, keep us working for you, right? That's right, don't forget to visit our other pages. The Facebook page that we actually post our videos on for those who don't really know how to work YouTube. Some people do know how to work Facebook a little better. Also, there's a Facebook group where Oliver likes to share a lot of pictures and things. And then again, like I said before, on our Patreon page where we actually share a little bit more of our personal stuff going on. So just check out those pages and we sure appreciate you guys coming along with us. We love you all. We hope you have a beautiful day and thank God for it. <laughs>